Hello guys, today I'll be showing you the PK201 emulator, more specifically how to use it with the Zebra emulator. So first of all, download both emulators, unzip them, get a BIOS for them, I'm not going to tell you how to get a BIOS, you can do that by yourself, um, but if you're looking for a BIOS for the pocket station, um, there's a few tools on Orion Soft which you can download I'll probably put a link in the description for you but um, yeah obviously extract them put the BIOS in the uh, respective folders uh, just a quick note for the pocket station BIOS rename it to KROM and then copy it over into the VK21 folder should have something that looks like this and um, yeah copy that all into the Zebra folder um, and what you want to do is you want to run PK201 if it's the first time you're running it you want to do this run PK201 press run run slash pause and my sounds off but um, yeah you get quite an annoying beep but um, yeah press K to skip the intro then or let me just quickly run through the controls W is up A is left S is down D is right and K is select and then when the date and time are flashing press up or down and set it up however you like use left and right to scroll through the date and time and then once you've done that press select again the K button and then press file save start and that will save the date and time of a pocket station emulator so when you run it in Zebra Zebra can keep your date and time of a pocket station in sync um, if you want to use this emulator standalone you're always going to want to press file load start at the start of each gaming session and file save start at the end of each gaming session so that um, so that your time doesn't go out of sync basically and um, you'll also want to if you're using a standalone each time you want to press file misc load from load from and misc save from if you're using it standalone each time um, kind of found that you don't need to save from but I'll just do it just in case anyways anything happens so um, uh, close that down then what you want to go do is um, open up your zebra emulator Oh. Oops, oh, there's one on there. Let me just sort this out. I don't know why it's still that, but um, yep. Okay, so what you're going to do when you open up your Zebra, Zebra emulator, sorry, you press File, Open, CD ROM image, and you choose the game you want. Well, Spiral Dragon Japanese, and you use that. Then, um, this is very important to make Zebra detect a pocket station. You gotta press run outer card, then run power run or run an advanced option if you need to. I don't need don't need to run any advanced options. I just run your standard power run. And um, while I'm here, I'll show you how to download the game to the pocket station. Now, when it loads. In the top left you should see your pocket station, your main menu, and the stat should match wherever stat you've saved. And um, yeah, another thing is it should say busy. The screen should change to busy every time it's accessing the memory card. And that's another way to check it's actually using up using the pocket station. Because each time it accesses a memory card. Um, the pocket station acts as a memory card so each access to the memory card is access to the pocket station so that screen in the top left should be you know changing to busy every time the memory card is accessed but um, I'll just show you how to download the game onto the pocket station so I don't understand Japanese myself so yeah um, the pocket station is always in slot 1 so choose slot 1 um, should always go to busy because it's actually checking the pocket station then when you go to the left selection press that one 
and it will download to the pocket station and you should see the little download um, happening now this can take quite some time because Spyro basically takes up pretty much all of your pocket station it takes up like maybe eight blocks something ridiculous yeah so it does take a bit of a time and then from there you can start your game and um, I don't think that's necess unnecessary but um, just a quick note um, Zebra does save your stat every time we close it down so don't worry about that and um, another thing if you've made progress in Zebra what you want to do is press file save memory card one image and save that as from because as you know the pocket station basically is a memory card and um, you want to update that memory card image every time so save that as from save that somewhere uh, I've just saved it wherever um, but, um, yeah. and then you want to copy that from into the directory the zebra directory same one um, replace whoever's there and then when you run your emulator um, load a stat and press file misc load from so load the memory card and then hopefully oops that looks a bit corrupt um, let me just reset the emulator maybe it was a bad saver oh there we go it must have been a little glitch and then yeah you can play your game easy um, but yeah I just want to make a quick shout out to Crystal Fisher because he made a video series on dragonfly eggs and it really got me interested and really got me hyped up and um, yeah also I want to shout out to Dr. Hell for just making these emulators fabulous job Zebra, one of the most accurate emulators there is out there might not be the prettiest the easiest to use but it's one of the best, believe me for accuracy, it's really good and um, yep yeah. Thank you very much guys, um, hope you enjoyed that video and um, yeah, if you haven't already, sub subscribe to Crystal Fisher, he's a really good guy and um, yeah, thank you very much.